All right, guys. So welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro. And today we are talking about a new version of MIUI that has been recently released as a custom ROM. We, of course, are talking about MIUI Covenant for which we made an install video a few days back. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. We also have a giveaway for premium cases going on. The link is in the description. So please go ahead and participate. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So quickly, we'll have a look what exactly is going on over here. We have MIUI Covenant based on 13.0.4 SJU MIXM. Device is Poco X3 Pro. Of course, it works on YU and Vima both. Android version is 12. This was released back on the 2nd of May 2022. Now, there are quite a lot of bold claims and that is the reason I used this as my primary for two to three days to find out exactly what's going on. Now, this is of course optimized battery usage, lock cat disabled on other partitions, forced to use GPU instead of CPU, extreme de-bloated. That is a good thing. MIUI 13 icons, GPU driver 615, improvements, sound quality, disabled bug submission reports, removed telemetry partially, added iOS 15.4 emoji. Now there is a full change log available as well. You can definitely, you know, go ahead and check that. So that is there in the link that is mentioned in the description. This of course includes G apps. Now, complete review of any custom ROM. What exactly are we talking about? First things first, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that it definitely comes with uh, one of the better wallpapers that I've seen a lot of custom ROMs ship with. Second highlight over here is it does come with the MIUI 13 control center enabled by default, which is always a good thing, right? Now to the left, of course, you have Google feed. Yet another highlight, Google feed on this MIUI based custom ROM is butter smooth. I know a lot of you were stating that there is the gallery bug wherein the gallery application is consuming a lot of battery. We will address that in this particular review. But for now, if you look at the overall UI, the experience is pretty rock solid. For a MIUI based ROM on the POCO X3 Pro, the experience is very cohesive, very smooth. If you talk about the app icon animations, they are present. They are working absolutely fine. Even if you go to the multitasking menu, the animation is pretty, pretty sweet. Even if you lock the phone and say unlock it, there's this animation of MIUI 13 which is present and it is doing a splendid job. So overall, a pretty decent experience as far as the UI is concerned. Now, if you go to the edit menu of your quick tiles, you will notice over here that you do have the performance mode which I've already added. So that is a good thing. It has, of course, the built-in screen recorder which allows you to record internal audio, no external audio support there. The dialer and the messaging application is default MIUI, which you get in China, which is a good thing. The security application that we have is, of course, the latest updated one, 6.1.6. .6. You do get the latest game turbo, but unfortunately, that is not the unlocked one. So you don't really get, you know, the GPU settings and stuff like that. So all those things are something you need to consider if you are looking at that. Although these are small things, there are ways to enable the Game Turbo's GPU control feature and stuff. So nothing much to worry there. Now, talking about the camera quality, the camera clarity, I've not really had any difference or any issues as far as the camera is concerned. It works just fine. All of the features are present and they work absolutely okay. I did try the macro camera, the portrait camera, and yes, they are working as expected. Now, the white background bug that you used to have in the, you know, at the bottom gesture bar is not there. So that is a good thing. The quick search or Google search bar is present. OK, Google is working absolutely fine as well. So overall, initially, you know, the impressions are pretty rock solid. The smoothness is definitely there. Now, one by one, let's go to dissect the settings and see what exactly is going on over here. So if you go to, you know, my device and you go to all specifications, you will notice that this is, of course, Poco X3 Pro, the processor speed, the RAM information, everything is mentioned. It does come with the April security patch and the kernel over here is still the perf kernel. So it's really, really surprising that just by debloating and optimizing an existing MIUI version, custom ROM developers, how good they are able to make a particular ROM and more usable as far as daily usage is concerned. Now, there are no major changes in SIM cards, Wi-Fi connection and sharing, wallpaper and personalization is the updated one. So, you know, everything is present and working as expected. Even if you press in, uh, you know, pinch over here, you go to wallpapers over here and see 
there are no molten glass wallpapers which i would have loved to see and these bugs are you know constant in uh, a lot of mii roms that you are not able to update these super live wallpapers it's not even allowing me to apply them let's actually go to settings over here and uh, yeah let's go to settings let's go to wallpaper and personalization let's select this see it doesn't allow you to you know update that wallpaper so that's fine that's not an issue the option of system apps updater is not present over here now talking about the launcher the launcher in question over here is the miui launcher that is the system launcher and you do have google feed to the left all the standard miui 13 features of the launcher like arrange item in recent horizontally show memory status global app icon animations these options are present and they work absolutely okay things like floating window are also working fine so you will not have any issues whatsoever as far as these features are concerned now once again if you dive into settings you do have password and security in which face unlock fingerprint unlock all these features as always are working fine moving on if you actually go to battery you do have the performance mode toggle and if you look at my battery usage i've had about 1 hour of screen on time and gallery has still you know consumed about 10% but i'll tell you this if you use the phone for 2 to 3 days this keeps going down so i think you need to give the rom time to settle and probably this bug is not such a big concern apart from that all the miui standard features and options are present like full screen display the android 12's one handed mode so you know this as you can see it works very very cohesively so no major issues there whatsoever you do have your memory extension feature over there which is present and works okay under sound and vibration you do have sound effects harman kardon audio that is mentioned over here i've not noticed any major major difference you can give it a try and let me know if you notice any difference as far as the audio configuration is concerned now under display they have added the 90 hertz refresh rate is what they had mentioned in the detail change log but for some reason i don't see that over here so i just see 60 hertz and 120 hertz and you know as far as the control center and status bar is concerned everything is pretty standard lock screen customization everything is pretty standard so no major changes there but i'll tell you this these guys they have optimized the rom and made it more smooth more usable for daily usage of course miui mint bgst has come up with an update and we are definitely going to try that but important things like you know safety net is passing just fine play store certification is present so you will not have any issues you know using bank banking applications and stuff like that also wideband l1 is present so you will be able to use netflix amazon prime video Now before we end the video let's talk about two very important aspects which matter to a lot of Poco X3 Pro users which is gaming and the benchmark numbers. Now as far as benchmarks are concerned Antutu we did score a decent score 578102 somebody asked for the CPU GPU scores these are the scores and the CPU temperature increased by 5.3 degrees and the battery dropped by 5% in the course of this benchmark so that is to be noted Moving on we do have updated MIUI applications for example if you go to gallery right you can look at the CPU throttle test excellent scores over here the CPU throttled to 93% of its max performance and the average was 172 233 now it's not the highest score over here but the consistency in throttling test for 15 minutes was brilliant Now do remember I ran these tests with performance mode enabled and with all the benchmark apps added to the game turbo application now we also have geekbench in the house so let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the geekbench numbers of single core and multi core that should give you a pretty good idea of the performance 758 that's 758 single core and 2508 multi core so pretty splendid performance here as well now, as far as gaming on bgmi is concerned it's a very decent experience compared to the stock miui rom this is much more consistent as far as the fps are concerned but in extreme situations for example in you know competitive matches and stuff you might have some issues in the last circle that's of course because this is poco x3 pro with the snapdragon 860 but most of the time if you are a casual gamer you will not have any issues to answer your question about 90 fps this particular rom doesn't come with 90 fps unlock you'll have to manually go ahead and unlock it about which very soon i'll be releasing a short so all in all if you ask me miui covenant is a splendid rom you can definitely give it a try and use it as a daily driver let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video 
Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.